Hi guys, Simulator Guy 101 here, and I'm back with you today for a tutorial video. Uh, we're going to be looking today with mods uh, and installation of mods to do with OMSI 2. This video was requested by Giddy Gamer 12. Uh, that is Giddy Gamer 12. So be sure to head over to his channel, give him a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Anyway, let's get on with the show. So today. I'm going to be showing you how to install two things and they're the two most common installation of mods uh, that you'll do and that is the installation of a map and the installation of a vehicle namely a bus or a coach. I'm going to be showing you two methods today which I've personally named manual and auto installations. Uh, with auto being you use an extraction tool uh, built into a that's built into the the softwares that I'll be talking about today uh, and the other being manual obviously which is where you drag the folders and stuff all yourself omc2 does not have a mod system like euro truck simulator 2 or american truck simulator it has no mod system whatsoever it is literally a case of you install things into the OMSI directory, into their folders. And there's no sort of way of just packing it all into a nice folder, putting it in a mods folder and let the game doing it itself. That, that coding just isn't there for OMSI. Anyway, let's get on with the show. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up your OMSI directory. Now to do this, you go to computer. Uh, I'm on Windows 10, so it slightly differs, but this principle is there. Computer, I think on older systems like 7, it is called My Computer, but it's the same thing. That's where you need to go. You'll then need to head over to Windows, which is your C drive, and this is where everything's mainly kept. You'll then need to go over to Program Files times 86. Now, a word to note is, if you are on a 32-bit system, so you've got 2 gigabytes or less of RAM, you'll be on a 32-bit system. If you have 3 gigabytes or more of RAM, you'll be on a 64-bit system. So if you're on a 32-bit system, then it'll be program files times 32. If you're on a 64-bit system, it'll be program files times 86. But it doesn't matter. That's where you need to go. You need to the one, go to the file that's got times something. Then go down to near to the bottom and you'll see a folder that says Steam. Then come down again and go to Steam Apps. Then Common. And then OMSI2. And welcome to the OMSI2 directory. This is where the magic happens, if you will. So, you've got all of your main folders that OMSI uses all listed down here. The first thing I'll show you to do is how to use... Or I say how to use, how to install a map. Now for this I'll be showing you the auto installation. And I'm going to be using a software called WinRAR. You'll need something along that line that can unpack a zip file. You'll need something like that to be able to do this. So 7-zip, WinRAR, uh, I don't know what others are out there. But whatever system or software works for you, that's fine. I recommend either 7-zip or WinRAR because they're the two most common that people use. I personally use WinRAR. I don't know much about 7-Zip, but the principles I believe are the same whether you're using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So I'll open that. All that good stuff. Now, this is where it can vary slightly dependent on the author. I'm installing Cotterall today by the UKDT, and this is how they've structured theirs. So you see you've got your OMSI2 folder, and then a HOF file and a README. README we won't worry about. HOF files, if you want me to, I'll cover in another video because that is to do with more the mechanics of getting passengers in your map and stuff and with the buses. Uh, if you want me to cover that, I'll quite happily do that. But that's sort of a, a HOF files are sort of a different mechanic to what we're doing today. So the easiest way I find it if you've got a folder structured like this is click on OMSI2 and you'll be met with several folders. Some, as I said, will when you open it up from your downloads will come straight to something like this uh, but the principle is the same you'll need to navigate to your folder that has this and you see we've got vehicles ticket packs 
textures, spleens slash splines. People pronounce them differently. I call them spleens, but if you ever hear the word spline, it's the same thing. Scenery objects, money, maps, and fonts. Now, vehicles is pretty self-explanatory. We'll cover that folder more in a minute when I install the bus. Ticket packs is rather simple. Again, that's kind of a different game mechanic. I think that's probably best to cover it in another tutorial if you want me to. Textures, spleens, and scenery objects are all to do with the look of the map. That is your roads and your buildings and your trees and the textures are obviously the texture for those models. And then again, money, I'll cover in a different one. Fonts, again, we'll cover that slightly more when we do the vehicle. And then maps is just the, the main base for your map. That's what contains your global files and your um, AI lists and that kind of stuff. Again, another video if you want me to. So the best way to do this uh, is use the Extract To button. Again, same principle for 7-Zip. And all we do is we click on Extract To. Now currently it's going to put it in the folder that we're trying to extract it out of. So that's not going to work. So you go back to your OMC2 directory. Come up to here where it's got all of your... Um, where it basically lists the directory of where you've come from. Click on it once. Copy it. So Control Z or right click copy. Doesn't matter which. Whatever you're happy with. Come back to there. Make sure all of that's highlighted. So you can do Control A, Delete. And then just can do control V. It will freeze for a second whilst it finds your directory that you've put in, which it has now done so. You'll know it has when you get all of your folders come up. All you do, click OK. I'll click yes to all because I already have this installed, but you won't have this when you're trying to install the map. It will just do it straight away. And it will install the map. Uh, this will take a bit of time. Uh, it's dependent on quite a few things to how long it takes. A, obviously your computer speed is obviously a massive factor. Uh, but also if you've got quite a lot of detail in the map or it also depends on the size of your map. So if you've got quite a big map compared to a rather small map, then it'll take longer because obviously you've got more tiles to load in. Yet again, that's another video to cover because uh, it's a different mechanic to what we're doing here but also with your detailing as well so if you've got a lot of hd textures and a lot of big buildings and custom buildings and high polygons yet again another video then that will all depend so i think the best thing to do right now is uh i will cut the ed cut the video here and edit it down so you don't have to just sit here listening to me bore you to death or watch the screen and bore yourself to death so I will catch you back when the map has finished installing. Okay, so the map is just about finished installing now. So just wait for it to do that. And that's it. The map is installed. So it, that is, is literally it. And that's the auto install. You can use the same principle for vehicles, which I'll show you in a moment's time. But the way to check, really, is the way I check just to make sure. Uh, is just go to your maps folder and you'll see it sitting in here cottrell there it is so yeah i mean the, the best test is obviously to boot it up and if it doesn't work then you've made a mistake somewhere um again I'll, I'll cover that in another tutorial if you guys want me to i don't mind so the next to do is vehicles so this is even more simpler than maps and it's tend to and it's, it tends to be the reason that I say to use the manual, what I call the manual install for for vehicles, because it's really that simple. So we can close that now. We don't need that no more. Let's go back to our downloads. And I'm going to be using the Volvo 9900 Coach today, which is available from the Aussie X forums. Uh, I'm just using that as an example today. So we'll double click on that. Open it all up. And... Again, it depends on uh, two factors, really, for, for vehicles. Again, the author. And two, if you're, or if the vehicle that you're installing has either flip dot slash LED matrix destination boards or whether it's got a roll band destination board, which is where you've got the big turny things that, yeah, 
but that depends. If you if you've got roll bands, then you'll have another folder in here that'll say Anzigen. Uh, again, I think it'd be best to cover roll bands in another video because they tend to be quite complicated, and I can probably incorporate that into a Hoff files as well if you if you guys want me to. Um, so anyway, it's easy enough. So just go back to your MC2 directory here. Click on vehicles, go back to here, and all you do is drag the vehicles folder over like that. So the next thing to do is obviously to install the vehicles, like I said we were going to. So all you do is we'll close that, we don't need that. And for this I'll use the manual install. Now there's a reason why I say use the manual install because it's far more simpler there's far less folders to have to play around with so we come up to here i'll be using the volvo 9900 coach for this one uh, which is available from the aussie x forums and all we do is open it now again this will depend on um author to how it's structured but most generally tend to have two folders one when you open them vehicles and fonts Fonts we'll cover in a minute, but first let's go into the vehicles folder. Now you'll see here, um, you'll have two folders. You'll have the folder of the bus, slash coach, whatever it's called. So if it's a uh, Dennis Dart, you'll have Dennis Dart. If it's a, um, I don't know, a Mercedes Sotaro, then it'll say Sotaro or something like that. You know, you get you get my meaning. But this is called 9900. That, that's the main folder and that's what's got all the coachy bits in. And the other folder you have is Anzigen, and this controls the matrix, or helps to control the matrix. Um, it usually controls the textures for matrix. Usually if you've got roll band destinations, that's when the Anzigen folder comes into play. So you won't always see the Anzigen folder when you're installing a vehicle, but sometimes you will. In this case you will, because they've, got a roll, they've used a roll band system for the controller which has just got see various textures in it so all you do is it's really simple you grab the 9900 folder well first of all you need to go to your vehicles folder which i've already done here because this is my second attempt at recording this bit with the vehicles because i made a massive error so i've already got my vehicles folder but it's easy enough to do just go to your mc2 directory and then go scroll all the way down to see vehicles folder then all you do is you drag in the 9900 folder drag it in again let it install this is the manual installation so the, the drag and drop stuff it that that's manual installation and the extract 2 is obviously the auto installation so just install that it will probably come up with uh, overwrite stuff for me might not but it might because I've already got this installed you see yeah see there you go so replace the files in destination I, I mean I've already got the 9900 installed so that's why it comes up with an error for me or not an error an overwrite thing but you won't have that obviously so that's that installed then all we do is we come back to here and our Anzigen click on Anzigen then navigate to Anzigen on here and drag that in all done again i will cover anzigen folders and stuff in another video come back back out of that and go to your omc2 directory navigate to fonts come back to this come out of that go to fonts in here C control a to select and then just get rid of that top bit there with the two dots because you don't need that or alternatively you can just select them like that and again drag them in and you're done that's it as simple as and now you have installed your coach and all your screens will work properly fonts tend to be again used for destination boards um, again i'll cover all of that stuff in a completely different tutorial because that's going to be quite a long one but that's it so i hope i've helped you to 
now give you the knowledge to install a map and have much more fun with just the, than the standard Grundorf from Berlin because there are so many fantastic maps out there. Uh, I hope I've, you know now how to install a bus or a coach because again there is some fantastic uh, bus or vehicle mods out there. So guys, thank you for watching and until the next time, happy modding.